With unemployment at 9.1 percent and stuck in that neighborhood for 27 months, President Obama appealed today to one of the states that holds his job in its hands, North Carolina. Why North Carolina? We'll have a look at this. In the last election, Mr. Obama won the state in a squeaker by three-tenths of one percentage point. Now, unemployment in North Carolina is 9.7 percent. Our lead today is jobs, and we have four correspondents on the beat. Chip Reed is with the president in North Carolina, and in this critical swing state, he found a sharp difference in how folks see their future. Got hot dogs here. In Durham, North Carolina, some fans of the Durham Bulls are feeling pretty bullish about the economy. Take Andrew Lewis, who works in the booming financial industry. The entrepreneurial spirit here in Raleigh, Durham is still alive and there's more new jobs and more new companies starting every day here than I think anywhere in the country. Lewis is the kind of educated, independent voter who turned out in large numbers in this affluent area and helped candidate Obama squeak out a victory in what was only recently a heavily Republican state. Hello, North Carolina! You voted for Obama yes. in 2008. Yes. And you'll vote for him again. I definitely will. But 15 miles away in Raleigh, Jeannie McCarrier has a very different view of the economy. Her business selling handcrafted gifts is struggling. She too voted for Mr. Obama in 2008, but now blames him for a state unemployment rate of 9.7 percent. He said that he was going to change these things. Okay, he said that he was going to be creating more jobs in America. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing more jobs leaving America. The president came to this part of North Carolina today hoping to convince former supporters like McCarrier to give him another look. Our economic challenges were years in the making, and it'll take years to get back to where we need to be. In essence, the president's message is, have patience, but McCarrier says her patience is gone, and so is her vote, and there's nothing the president can say to win it back. I guess maybe the old saying is, uh, what is it, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Um, I don't, I don't, he didn't fulfill his promises, you know, so I, no, I would not vote for him again. Scott, the president did announce a new program today in which private industry and the government would work together to train 10,000 new engineers every year. Well, Chip, with 14 million unemployed, 10,000 engineers doesn't sound like a lot. Well, Scott, I asked the White House that very question today, and a senior official just got back to me and said that this is not the solution. It's one answer, and that any proposal that would create new jobs is worth pursuing. But critics say it's a drop in the bucket and a sign that the White House is out of big ideas. Chip, thanks.